So I wasn't expecting this package to arrive so quickly, but since it has, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of what I've got here. And what I actually do have here is a Sony PVM8042Q. That's what at least was pictured in the uh, sales listing of what I bought. Oh, I did manage to get this for $61 shipped to me off of eBay. And that was by negotiating a little bit with the seller. They did have a best offer available. I believe they had it originally listed at $75 was their asking price. And I offered 55 and they came back with 65 and I asked them if they could meet me in the middle at $61 and they accepted. And that was only, goodness, two days ago, two or three days ago. And now the package is already here. So it looks like they've used an expandable foam packing material in the box, maybe just to do this. Now, the, the thing that made this one so cheap was it was listed as a 8041Q, which is not the right model. And it also uh, was listed as not powering on. Now, thankfully, I've got a spare power supply for the monitor right here. That This one's tested and works. So we'll definitely be able to get some kind of a picture to test on this. Wow, this is I've never seen anybody pack like this one of these. So, uh, it's like basically stuck to the box. So the box is not going to survive no matter what, really, because it's like glued. The spray foam glued itself to the box here. Yeah. So it's two pieces of expandable stuff. Paperwork. I believe this is probably a recycler that I got this from. And, wow, that's pretty much it. So no wonder they could ship it so cheap and free shipping. That's actually a pretty good package. Everything looks like it should. Nothing looks to have been damaged any further from what I could tell. All right, so there we have it. Let's try some power on it. All right, now we're going to just test the power and see if it actually turns on, although it did say that there was no power to it. So probably not, but we'll check that out. I'll also let you see a little bit more inside that box and what they actually packed it with. It was a single wall box. It did hold up fine again, so that's all good. Let's plug it in. Again, this is my first attempt to even power it on. I'll lift it up for you. And actually, I'm getting green. I wasn't really expecting this, but I was going to start to take the shell off and I noticed that every knob on the front was dialed all the way completely down, turned all the way down. So all I did was turn them all back to the center position, all the knobs, and I repowered it on. And it, if you see, I see the red, green, and blue line there, which tells me that it's in 16 by nine mode. And more importantly, that the monitor appears to be working. I have not even put the new power supply. I've done nothing else. I'm just going to cut on my Super Nintendo. And there we have it. We have a picture. HV delay was pushed in. Still looks like we might have underscan pushed it. <laughs> there we go. Can you believe that? So I didn't even have to use a power supply. No other parts. I will take it apart. And I could fix up this little handle that's come out and the screws behind it are bent, not the actual handle. So I can replace those screws and fix that up. And we've got ourselves a working RGB monitor for $61. It looks great right there on composite. Let's pull up the new test pattern. Oh man, that's great. So there we go. 
Wow. Seems to be working perfectly. Could use a little bit of adjustment, but still it looks really good considering. That's a composite picture right there. That's nothing. Wow. So let me take a quick look at something else on here. Yeah. Working perfectly. And all it was was that the knobs were turned all the way down. Now, that's a new one. I've never seen anybody not be able to power a monitor on because the knobs were turned down. But, hey, I'll take it. All right, I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.